All right. Well, we do have questions from our viewers. Let's get at them. And uh, you provide the answers. And if you don't have them right here, we know you follow up. So thank <laughs> you for that. Okay. Uh, question here from Clearwater County. Um, uh, when will dog safe trapping finally be law? Uh, viewer writes that the hunting and domestic dogs are killed in these lethal traps every year. It's time to end this. Over two million dog owners are asking. That's what the viewer presents. Who wants to start? I had a conversation yeah. with uh, my seatmate, who is from Aiken, uh, about this. Um, and uh, it, it really involves another subject, which is, you know, private property and trespass laws and posting. And that's been an issue in, in the envir environment bill, I think. So um, to the extent that, you know, you have private property that people are posting, then somebody's, you know, if they're out with their dogs, they're not probably running into private property necessarily. So, I mean, there's, there are some other issues um, involved, um, but I am not sure that we've taken up the trapping. Is it, and you would know, it's in your bill. So, uh, uh, when we debated the environment finance bill this week, there were three issues that are similar, but not the same. One is the, the dog safe trapping issue. The other was private property rights where uh, allowing trappers onto property uh, for trapping without uh, posting or to say that you can't be allowed without having written permission. And the third one was allowing uh, or banning the open season on wolves, on wolf hunting. Mm -hmm. So those three things were posted as amendments to the environment uh, finance bill. Uh, and as uh, we were moving t through the bill, uh, we asked the author of the amendments, uh, which one do you want to do? And the answer was the wolf hunting uh, one. And so we had that uh, debate on wolf hunting and the ban on open season for wolf hunting passed by one vote. Wow. Uh, so then, uh, and these don't split uh, by party. These issues are bipartisan. Mm -hmm. um, I stood up on the wolf hunting one and said, I'm voting for it. Uh, my district is, but I want people to vote their districts. I, instead of saying, hey, Democrats, I would like you to vote for this, or hey, Republicans, I, I said I'd like you to vote. You know, I'm asking people to vote their district, and they did, and it passed by one vote. Um, the uh, Representative Fisher, who uh, authored all three of those amendments, thought that that uh, actually had failed because it was, I believe, 66, 65, or 67, 66, and it takes 68 bills to pass a bill, but not an amendment. So uh, he was starting on the dog trapping bill. And uh, because of uh, a one-vote margin on the wolf, uh, which went back and forth, uh, uh, I asked him to pull the dog trapping or dog safe trapping one uh, as we were moving because we weren't sure if we would get a positive vote. And so that's what happened. I'll take. I asked uh, the the author to pull it. We know that it's an important issue, um, but uh, the wolf uh, trapping or the wolf hunting. Uh, provision was the provision that passed the floor, and now we will bring it into conference. The Senate does not have, I believe, don't any of these provisions. No, no, we don't. All right. Anything to add from the Senate, either well, uh, we did, Democrat or Republican? Yeah, we, we did have uh, a request for uh, those bills to, to be heard, uh, and I don't recall the, whether the Wolf uh, ban was, uh, was actually put into a bill. But uh, you probably know the companion. But we did have uh, one that uh, was requested to uh, mandate that a person have permission to set traps on private property and have that mm -hmm. permission so that uh, a warden could be able to see it. So it had to be written permission. And I had trappers that came to me and said that this was very uh, difficult for them because they didn't know where the boundaries were in these areas. And you know, we're not talking about places where you could tell when you're on one person's land versus mm -hmm. another. Um, but that didn't get a hearing, so it, it, we never had to take that up. Mm -hmm. There was another one that was uh, uh, with the, uh, the wire traps that are used, and they had, 
they wanted to be able to put those underwater as opposed to having anything uh, above water where a, a pet dog would swim mm -hmm. into it. Uh, we, and we didn't hear that one as well. Uh, in the past, there was another one that required certain traps to be elevated uh, a, certain, a certain distance above the ground, and that one uh, wasn't even offered this year. Right. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think uh, the, uh, uh, the pet owners were happy with uh, the lack of those being offered. Senator Howe, anything to add? You know, I, I, I seriously believe if, if the trappers are setting their traps properly and in the right places, you won't see a lot of that, those issues. And I think it's a lot of uh, trappers maybe that aren't as professional or, or probably don't know their, their trade quite as well as, as others that we end up with some of these issues. But I think the, the trappers that really know their trade uh, don't run into these issues. So, You know, I think this, these t issues are kind of a, indicative of a changing legislature and a changing state. Uh, I think all of us have, have heard or seen these debates either in committee or on the floor. And, you know, we, we don't quite know what's going to happen uh, on some of these debates. But that's a function of Minnesotans being engaged, that right. you, have, you have advocates and uh, the, the, it is a big deal of people losing dogs. Mm -hmm. People love their dogs and when they're hunting, and that's, I don't want to discount that, but you have engaged people that uh, Minnesotans are coming to the Capitol on these issues. I think on the wolf issue, you've seen engagement on both sides on that, and the same on the private property rights. So these debates uh, usually are uh, very interesting at the Capitol uh, because, again, they are not generally partisan. Uh, mm -hmm. It is, it, mm -hmm. it, and it, it, it does reflect Minnesotans involved. So I, I know it's discouraging to be on the losing side. I've, I've been there a lot, <laughs> and but I think the hopeful thing here is having people involved, and they're going to get more involved. And sometimes it takes a long time, and people make their case. You, you, it's a, it's amazing how long it takes something to happen because I've had legislation that I've worked on the entire time I'm here, and it gets. The legislation actually gets better and better. Well, you know, I've worked on some stuff four or five years before it gets done, and I will admit that when that bill actually becomes a law, it's much, much better than when I started. And so it's, it's a learning process, and it's an educational process, because every, all 201, or at least the majority of the 201, have to be convinced that it's a good idea. Right. 